Well, boys, what do we got? What do we got? You know what? Mojave. Mojave Outdoors. Oh, let me hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get this out. Oh, we are you part of the Mo Betta Beretta Club? You should be. You should be. I know I am. I got credits. I'm going to go spend them. You, you join the Mo Club and you can... You can actually earn, you know, credits for, uh, you know, towards your next purchase, all that kind of stuff. Gage is the designer. This is a collaborative. It's called the original, original, and mine's black, aluminum, blah, blah, blah. Three inch blade, almost seven inches overall. Alu lunium, lunium button lock. The original. How original is that? You know, if you go, oh, let's do something original. Okay, let's make an original. Um, and this, oh my God, hold on, get out of here. This is so damn addictive. This is really addictive. This is addictive. Middle finger flick, there's no flipper tab. Button lock, though. Button lock. Oh, what does it say up here? Original. <laughs> of course. Of course it does. Why well, wouldn't it say that? You know, I'd never noticed that before. I'd just sit there, so you know, just like a, a zombie playing with this damn thing. But, uh, deep carry pocket clip. Can you go left-handed? No, because you know, you're not supposed to be left-handed, so get over it. Now, um, flat screws there. Lots of room for the pocket, and you got your standoffs, and this is all black. But do you have to get a black one? No. Now the black and the green come with a black blade, and the gray one comes with a silver blade. But you know, by uh, I'm, I want to get these two and swap the blade because I'm a freak, and I can't. You know, n n enough is not enough. Uh, but. Um, they're just being released now, or, you know, depending on when I post this damn thing, they've already been released, and jump if you want, because they're going to sell out quick, apparently, from what I understood, from what they were saying, is that um, there was like 80% of, of their production already sitting on the wish list that they have online of people of having these on their wish list, so... Uh, but this is uh, this is addictive as hell. Uh, it's smooth. It's nice. This is not an exclusive. Well, this is an exclusive. But as opposed to some of the exclusives they've done, like the Latvian Mini Iron Man and blah blah blah, a, a Deadpool stuff, this and that. This is uh, a collaborative. This is between Kaiser and Mojave, as far as the the design the whole thing goes so uh, I don't think you're gonna see this anywhere else and uh, wow that that is that's something man that is something so it's 154 cm um, and I it's it's just uh, super fidget friendly it really is Ergos, I can get my fingers all on, barely, barely, but I can. And you got a little cutaway here for sharpening, 154 cm, so it's stainless, it's nice, easy to use, good quality user steel, dual um, thumb studs on it, nice little button lock, but the button, of course, is recessed here, so it's not going to accidentally, you know, let the blade drop out now. You know, the detent's not overwhelmingly overwhelming because um, because it's got to be flicked, man. So you don't want to make it tough on you. But wow, isn't that nice? Ooh, that just drops right back. That's nice. Okay. So is it lightweight? God, I hope so. Oh, by the way, I've got a discount code. So ugh, use it. Uh, it doesn't pay me, okay? It doesn't pay me to use your discount. It's not an affiliate link or anything for me. It's just a discount code that they were kind enough to let my viewers use. Okay? Let my people use. And 2.6 ounces 
at 74 grams. So, is it lightweight? Yes. Is it discreet carry? Yes. Is it expensive? No. Is it fidget friendly? Yes. Does it have decent ergos? Yes. Uh, reverse grip, you can actually do that. If that would be something you would do with this. Uh, not me, but okay. Uh, but you will drive other people crazy just doing this, right? I don't even think I've put this on my Instagram yet. What the hell? Um, but yeah, I, it's just, yeah, it's insane. It really is. Here's kind of your specs on it. Kind of your specs. Okay, they're your specs on it. We will check. But yeah, 6.85. That's right. Three, three inch blade. Okay, okay. Drop point. Flat grind. Best EDC knife ever. Oh, let's start with that title. You know, nothing like clickbait. Okay, what else we got? Oh, yeah, 2.61. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaiser and Mojave brand. Not just a Kaiser. A Kaiser and a Mojave brand. Mojave Outdoors. And look at all the Kaiser knives they got there. They're, they are the Kaiser freaks. So, I mean, check that out. And Kaiser's been doing some cool stuff. Just recently, I got my hands on that mini bag lighter in M390 with titanium frag pattern scales. Wow. <laughs> that is... That is way cool. And it's a liner lock, not a frame lock. Oh my God, it's that, yeah, that is cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than the fact that, yeah, it's not a left-hand action, but the detent is light, but it's light because, you know, you want people, you want to be able to do this. And, and it's so easy. I mean, just the fidget factor alone is probably worth the, worth the price of entry, I guess. And there's another thing that they're going to be doing besides this original in these three different colors is, I mean, I don't know if you ever got in on that Feist thing. Let me see what this says. It, it, it's a denim thing. The, remember the Feist denim uh, handles and it came in this denim roll up knife roll type thing. I've still got mine because it's like, what? I mean, that just the roll itself was worth it. So you can get this alone now, alone, okay? So you can get right off their site. This will be available. If you, if you go, eh, I got like five different Feist knives or I don't like the Feist knife, but I sure like this roll and, you know, I'd just rather buy the roll itself. And so one, two, three, four, there's where you put your tactical pen here. And then you got a lower pocket if you want to use it. And these are all lower pockets too. So, you know, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, you could put a lot of, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Here's a Kaiser. Kaiser only knives are allowed in this pouch. You cannot put anything but a Kaiser knife. Just kidding. Uh, but, I mean, you can do so much with it. It's, uh, that kind of, I mean, you just fill it up, do whatever. But I just thought I would bring this to your attention too, because this is going to be for sale as well on their site and use your discount code to buy one. And you know what? Hey, uh, yeah, you could always roll up your big stack of hundred dollar bills and put them in the different pockets. Be really impressive. Maybe your credit card will fit in there. Would that credit? I don't know. Haven't tried. Uh, but you can stick that in your back pocket, really. That's about this. I've seen people with way bigger wallets than this. So, I mean, you could actually stick it in a pocket. That kind of thing. So, hmm, weird. But, yeah. See that Velcro on there? Kaiser. Denim. Now, I was just going to bring that up because... Hey, I, I just, I was just so impressed when this came out with that damn denim Feist. It was like, I do like the Feist, okay? So I like the knife too. And to have the knife plus this is just a super big bonus. But just that roll would just blew my mind that they even did that. Okay, let's talk about this. 0.47, so that's as thin as a PM2, a Spyderco PM2, okay. 0.47 of an inch, uh, 12 millimeters basically, blade stock, mm, under 3 millimeter, 2.7 at 0.10. Okay, 
So, great ergos, nice, lightweight, discreet carry, super fidget friendly. Okay, um, and it's 85, 84 smackers, but after discount, it'll be in the $70 something range. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I guess I've probably bought a knife with 154 CM for under 70 something. But you know what? I'm seeing a lot of, you know, the old runaround, you know, normal Best Tech. Have you seen like Best Tech G10, D2 are now in that low 60s and stuff? So <sighs> things are kind of moving up, aren't they? Uh, so, yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy with this. I, I think you will be, too. I think you'll like it. I like the overall design flow. That's for sure. Look at this. Blade to handle length, great. Overall design flow is great. I mean, uh, easy to find your balance on here. And you know what? The fact that it's not a frame lock. Lord, spare me from every damn knife in the world having to be a frame lock. Um, I'm, I'm totally into the buttons. Am I into the buttons? Hell yeah, I'm into the buttons. I don't even know where my button lock went. I had, uh, but, you know, well, you know, right here. Here it is. The swags, the button lock there. I really like a lot. There's another button lock I like too. The Vandal. So, I mean, but this is a button lock machete, by the way. This is not really a knife. It is because it's big. It's big. <sighs> I love it. But yes, um, but this doesn't, you know, I mean, this, mine does not have uh, thumb studs, okay? And this one's got thumb studs, flipper tab, button lock. I mean, could we put, why isn't the front flipper too? We could have completed the, like, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit of opening methods, right? But here... It is just that. And then if you, you know, adjust the detent, you can finger flick the crazy son of a gun. But it also is just like, you know, do this. But so much. That's the M390 model, by the way. And yeah, I like it. I like this one. This is way cool. It's much lighter than the Vandal is. That's, that's for sure. It's more in the class with the sway back which is its stable mate right kaisers both of them so yeah nice so if you like the smaller knives and i think they're appropriate i i carry one in my other side just as a backup knife and 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 they're fun that way too and then i'll put like a little edc flashlight in that same pocket with my backup and then my main hoss will be in my right hand pocket. But oh man, you, you have no idea what you're gonna be doing with this. You are gonna, yeah, this is really, that's really addictive. Okay, now well, we're gonna go down this road. Okay, access is to the front. So let me see if I can, ooh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, wow. Well, no wonder it was really dropping. Oh my God, it seemed a little bit like, there's definitely no thread locker on here. Baby, that thing was ready to go. You might want to put some on there just to lock it down at your preferred level, but I'm kind of glad that they come from the factory without getting them jacked down really hard. One thing I hate is really testing the strength of the hardware because it's so locked down. Um, you know, let me do that at my own preference. Okay, so we got the screws out here, and they're both the same size, and there's the pivot screw, and there's that one. Ooh, that one's smaller. Okay, so up front, yeah, that's up front smaller. The two body screws back here, are going through this standoff, but this front one's not. Okay, so that's why it's shorter. Okay, next. Now let's see if we can separate. Okay. Okay. Button time, huh? All right, so this slides in there. Oh, okay. So you've got this 
support piece. Now if we can just unsupport it. And let's see if we can. Well, let's pull. Oh, can we do that? Okay. I don't want to upset the apple cart here too badly, so I'm going to be very careful about how I take this off. Okay, now we'll, let me look underneath. Okay. All right, and this will actually go through this hole. Okay. And this little collar piece, I'm going to leave it the hell alone. And here's the blade stop. So here's the reinforced piece here that obviously is steel. Okay. rest of that aluminum. This insert here is steel. Okay. So we got that. And then we got, you can tell, man, you can tell. Uh, well, that spring, yeah, it doesn't look like it makes any difference if it's that side up or not. And then the, here's the bearings, and they're little ceramic bearings. But boy, it swings. That baby swings free. Come on, get out of there. Okay. Now what do we got? Oh, well, we got a squared off pivot coming out the back. Okay. So, yeah, obviously that ain't going to turn. And there's the squared off piece. And then here's this reinforced, and I don't know. Well, it don't act like it wants to come out. And you know what? Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. It's held down right there with that screw. Um, yeah, I don't need to take it out either. I mean, if you're take, taking your knife apart to service or clean it, then why are you doing that? You can, though, if you want. If you want to pull all the inserts out. Okay. And here's where the pocket clip comes through in the back. So, okay. And what did he do? Put his gauge design on there, his G. You know, if you look carefully at that, you go, is that a six? Is that a G? Is that a six? Um, so, okay. We're, we're, we're all good. It's pretty clean, actually. All right, there you go, Mr. Complicated. Uh, no, not very. Uh, it's just that, you know, you got this extra little piece to put in here because it's, you know, reinforcing that pivot because it's... What if I got this turned upside down? Um, you've got this reinforcing here. Yeah, of course I had it upside down. Why not? I mean, you ever have those days? Like, have you ever put any of that furniture together you know you get it from Lowe's or wherever and then you got to assemble it yourself and you have like the one of the shelves or the back panels upside down and backwards and you put you got the whole thing together and then you realize that man I almost hate to admit I have okay um it's like honey I'm really handy she just stands there shakes her head okay um let's put this on Oh, my God. So, yeah, put the insert upside down. Thank God these knives are so simple that they won't let you do that. So you just actually physically can't screw it up. <laughs> Maybe that's the only reason I survive in this in this industry here. Um, okay. And another round of bearings. And... At least I don't have to compress the the, the lock bar, because there ain't one. Okay, um, ooh, baby. Well, let's get our spring back in here. And let me look at this spring. I don't think one end is bigger than the other, so I don't think it makes any difference. It's just going to be fun to stand it up. And then plunk this plunger, and this plunger's got to go, okay, got to be unimpeded. Which means I need to actually 
See, I, I had a guy once on one other uh, spring knife where the spring got sideways there. And so that caused a problem here. Let's go straight up and down. Okay. Now I'm going to put this back on here with, I'm going to match that up. Okay. Okay, so now I'm holding that plunger by holding this blade. Oh, jeez. Okay, so uh, hmm, I guess we're going to do this. Um, just sit this down like that. Because that's the way it was when we took that scale off. It wasn't together with the scale at the time. Okay. So now we've got this reinforced piece in here. Now, now can we put this on? Okay. And yeah. Hell, I almost look professional at it now. Let's we'll start bragging. Okay, get over here. And uh, let's get you not to lock down. Because the whole damn thing wasn't all that hard locked down when I, when I took it apart. And maybe you don't want to get too brutal on that pivot. And you can always back it off, I guess, and adjust it. But um, come here. Come on. Okay. Lots of good positive feel. And then the little guy here doesn't go into a standoff, so he doesn't. He's the little guy. He's just supporting that, that steel reinforcement piece in there. Okay. Now, what do we got? Well, we have success, I think. Yeah, we do. Okay, are we centered? Hell yeah. Anything going? Nah, that's good. We're all good. All right, back with the original. This is the original in black. Mojave Kaiser Collaborative. Mr. Fidget USA. Uh, this is the fidgetiest damn knife I've had my hands on in 2022, that's for sure. And, by the way, you might want to get you a new wallet. <laughs> you can put your knives in here, your money in here, whatever you want. Slam it in your back pocket, you know, and uh, you'd be all you be all uptown with that. So grab you one of these if you if you know if the spirit moves you. I mean, I don't know how you feel about knife rolls and little EDC pouches and stuff, but a lot of people really like them. They're very convenient for being able to roll up a few knives. Maybe a little EDC slender flashlight and some other things and just have it as a to-go. I'm going to leave you to it. Mojave, the original by Kaiser and Mojave. And it's available on Mojave on their website. See my discount code below and the website link. And thank you so much. Yeah, I'm liking it. We do. We love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.